This is not magic. It's a laser cleaning machine. And it's small enough to wear on your back. So it's basically magic. For 20 years now, I've worked on metal fabrication. And for 20 years, I've had to clean metal using techniques that are slow, dirty, or dangerous, and sometimes all three. I didn't know laser cleaning machines existed until a few short weeks ago. They seem too good to be true. Not only can these things prep surfaces for metal workers, but they can also take care of your bills, un-George President Washington, clean neglected bakeware, remove annoying stickers from stuff you just bought, and explode glass bottles without even touching them. So obviously I had to try one out for myself. Here the machine has just arrived, and as y'all can see, it's not that big. That's because I wanted to get my hands on a very portable machine. This matters to me because I plan on making a pipe fence and a greenhouse, and I wanted to use this machine to prep the steel beams. Some of those beams will be on the outskirts of my overgrown yard, or 10 feet up a ladder, so portability is a priority. This unit is definitely portable, and also fashionable in a low-budget comic villain sort of way. But how does it work? To the naked eye, the machine appears to generate a wide beam of laser light but a high-speed camera will show the wide beam is actually an illusion created by a single beam sweeping back and forth super fast. The laser beam is guided by a lens and mirrors. The lens is used to focus the laser's energy at a focal point. Here the laser is shooting towards two sheets of clear acrylic, but notice how the energy is only really absorbed by the sheet that lies in the focal point of the lens. This means the gun has to be a specific distance from your workpiece in order to be effective. The lenses are housed in the gun here, and the outer one is replaceable. Now let's talk about why mirrors are necessary to steer the laser beam. Here I have some paper that reacts to UV laser light. You can see in this time lapse that I do my best to paint the paper by hand using a UV laser pointer. Normal physiologic hand unsteadiness makes for poor results. To avoid this difficulty, laser machines utilize a series of mirrors. The mirrors are mounted to bases that either spin or wiggle, and their movement is controlled by preset programs. If you reflect a laser beam off the mirror just right, it creates a sweeping pattern. Here with the same UV paper, you can see that simply rotating the laser beam leads to far superior results. This is how these machines can do such incredible things. This works fine as long as the lens remains clean, but if the surface of the lens gets enough smoke on it, these contaminants on the glass can absorb heat from the laser beam. This can heat up the lens enough to destroy it. Glass, after all, doesn't like to be heated unevenly. There are two broad categories of laser cleaners I've seen for sale online, continuous wave lasers and pulse lasers. I'll show you the different cleaning patterns this machine can do while talking about pulse lasers. With the current state of technology, portability often requires the machine to be a pulse laser. If you're a nerd and want to know more about pulse lasers, I'll put some interesting lectures in the description. And if you're a real nerd and already know a lot about lasers, please feel free to correct anything I've misunderstood down in the comments. I am, after all, just a humble backyard experimentalist trying to spread some of what I learn. A pulse laser is a laser that is not continuously emitting light. Instead, the light comes out in short bursts with a gap in between. This is happening so fast the naked eye can't even tell. In the case of this machine, a laser pulse is sent out every 10 to 500 nanoseconds. As a reminder, a nanosecond is a billionth of a second. Crazy. For the same amount of delivered energy, a shorter pulse duration will lead to higher surface temperatures and less penetration into the material. This means that the energy that is raining down on your workpiece is being isolated in the uppermost layer. This is ideal for removing paint or grease without marring the surface underneath. Laser diodes designed for pulsed applications typically generate less heat. This means that the cooling system can be scaled down, which means the machine can be small and light enough to be worn like a backpack. As you can see here, the unit weighs in at only 29 pounds. No, I wouldn't want to wear that all day, but yes, I could if I had to. Now that y'all know a bit about how the machine works, let's actually put it to some use. So in the practice run I just showed, I really like the way that the helix pattern came out for cleaning. So this is a beam from a welding table I just made. Uh, check out my separate video on that. The last step of preparing the welding table is to clean the paint off the surface of the metal. That way you have electrical continuity when you set your grounding clamp on it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the paint off this. Here's a fun fact. Due to something called aliasing, I wasn't able to shoot this video with my iPhone. Because my phone couldn't easily adjust its shutter speed, the laser wound up looking like a puny little glorified wiggling flashlight, as you can see here from the iPhone footage. So I bought a camera with an adjustable shutter that was also capable of shooting slow motion video. This footage is much more lifelike. I hope the results are appreciated. If you do appreciate it, I would be grateful if you click the subscribe button for me. This will encourage YouTube to compensate me for the camera footage. I will aim to always keep improving, and only ask that you do a little clicking.
There are times through the remainder of this video that I put things into fast forward, like right now for example. I'm not doing this to be deceptive, I just want to keep the video interesting and keep the flow of things moving. So please know that this will happen several more times through the video, but again, I think it's pretty obvious, so you'll know. One down, 15 to go. So I have to admit, on the larger surface areas of the beam I cleaned, uh, it is a little slow for that job. It's good at irregular surfaces, but not huge surface areas. So something like this vise is probably a perfect project for it. I've had this since I was a kid. It's been neglected the last few years, sitting on a bench, not in use. So let me spiff this thing up. I'll probably attach it to my new welding table behind me. So let's do this next.
This here is a cast iron table I've had in my yard for about 10 years. I just couldn't resist cleaning it now that I have the laser cleaner and a brand new can of paint to go on it. All right, so I've had a chance to really use this machine now. I feel like I've gotten to know it pretty well through going through all the settings it has, trying out a few different things, large surface areas, small nooks and crannies. Really, I gotta say this machine shines at small items. It's good at getting into irregular surfaces. So the vise went really well. The rustic cast iron table went really well. That would have been very difficult with anything but a sandblaster really. So it's very good at that. It is extremely portable. I'm wearing it right now. I'm not even like huffing and puffing. It's pretty easy to wear. It's like a standard backpack. So very portable, good at small jobs. It is not the greatest at big jobs. If you have a huge surface area you're trying to clean, this is pretty slow. It's not going to get you there as fast as you probably want. If you get a bigger machine that's a continuous wave laser, it will probably do the job much faster for you. The problem is it's not going to be portable at all. If you get one of those bigger machines, they weigh hundreds of pounds, they're on wheels, you can't take them anywhere you go. So if you're going up on a ladder or out into the field to do work, this is a reasonable choice. I got this machine in used condition to save money. So it has some dings and dents and scratches. It does not have a battery. It does come with a battery option. That option is a 48 volt battery and it can be powered fully by battery then. You don't need a cord at all. So if portability is your goal, if small jobs with very irregular surfaces is what you're doing, this machine is probably for you. If you're going for big surface areas, you should probably get a continuous wave laser. It's going to cost a little more, be a bigger, heavier unit, but the higher power output is going to be worth it to get those big surface areas done quickly. If you learned anything at all from this video and you're interested in buying a machine like this, I would ask that you go to the description, click on the link to this machine. The company that I got it from in used condition was willing to offer me a slight percentage of the sales price if you wind up using that link to buy a machine like this for yourself. And I'm required to disclose, as an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. I plan on using this machine in the very near future. My next project is gonna be a pipe fence between me and my neighbor. And then after that, I'm moving on to the big greenhouse project. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's gonna be awesome. So please, if you're interested in any of these ideas, follow along, click the subscribe button, see the crazy future I got coming at me. That's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to see you on the next one. Take care. Let's go clean some stuff. <laughs> it didn't work. They do it in Top Gun. <laughs> Talk to me, ghost. Let's go clean some stuff. So much less cool. Val Kilmer looked. <laughs>